Hello friends, today in calculations we will cover about concentration. So concentration is ratio of amount of one ingredient to the amount of product. So how much each ingredient present in a final product is known as concentration. There are several other terms you will hear during calculations which are just like ratio ratio is a relationship between two values or quantity concentration can be measured as weight by weight one gram of any substance in 100 grams of other substance right you can also say that this is the ratio of two substances second is weight by volume it means one gram of one ingredient in 100 ml of solvent Third is volume by volume, 1 ml in 100 ml. Fourth is volume by weight, that is 1 ml in 100 grams. Units are very important. Always remember that they are, the, sol, the, the, the mass is in gram and the volume is in ml. Okay. Other terms are proportions. So proportion is relationship of two ratios. That is A's to B and C's to D. Then you will hear uh, another term is ratio is strength. Simply when two values are expressed in A is to B form or C is to D. This is called ratio strength. And other term is percentage strength. When the ratio strength is expressed in percent, it is called percentage strength. Finally, it, we will discuss in this video ratio mix express as a is to B is to A. It means two or three ingredients are mixing together in final product and the ratio of each of them. We will calculate under ratio mix. There are some other terms like parts per million and stock solution and several other questions uh, present in uh, to practice in exam. We will discuss in upcoming videos but in this video we will stick with these terms and we will see some simple example to understand it so first in concentration some sample questions like if a parental product contains 0.8 percent weight by volume of drug a how much milligrams of that drug in 30 ml of product? The options are A 24 milligrams, B 124 milligrams, C 124 grams, D 240 milligrams. Now you guys calculate. Answer is D. How? 0 0.8 grams is equals to 800 milligrams because we have to answer in milligram. So we will convert 0 0.8 gram over 100 ml. 0 0.8 gram is equals to 800 milligrams. Then we put the value 800 milligrams over 100 ml is equals to x milligrams which is we know we want to know under 30 ml 
so it will like x milligram is equals to 800 multiplied by 30 divided by 100 when you calculate it the amount came 240 milligram this is the simplest answer one more example is if a lotion contains 0.2 percent of weight by volume of a drug how much milligrams again 0.2 will be in grams here we have to calculate in milligrams of that drug in 15 ml of product options are 30 milligram b 300 milligram c 300 grams d 350 milligrams answer is a how similarly with the previous question 0.2 gram is equals to 200 milligram when we put the values 200 milligrams over 100 ml and x milligram in 15 ml so it will be like 200 into 15 divided by 100 the amount came is 30 milligram so the answer is a and other example is how many grams of dextrose solution should be used in compounding the following prescriptions now here we have to calculate the answer in gram what is the prescription dextrose is 0.06 percent weight by volume now purified water add to make volume is 300 ml options are a 0.018 gram b 0.18 gram c 18 grams d 1.8 gram answer is b we will see how solution is 0, 0.0 grams over 100 ml is equals to x gram over 300 ml so when we calculate it it will come 0, 0.18 grams so the answer is b next example is how many grams of ingredient a b should be used in compounding of the following prescription the prescription is ingredient a b concentration is 0.05 percent weight by volume and purified water add up to 500 ml options are a 0.25 b 0.025 c 0.0025 and d is 2.5 grams answer is a how when we put the values 0.05 grams over 100 ml and x gram in 500 ml the answer is 0 0.25 uh, came so the answer is a now the other term in this video is proportion we already know that proportion is relationship of two ratios a is to b is equals to c is to d some sample questions how many milligram of starch is present in 200 ml if you know that one gram is present in 1000 ml of water so here we have to check that the answer must be in milligram and the value here is in grams so we will convert in milligram when we put the values x milligram over 200 ml is equals to 1 gram is equals to 1000 milligram and it is in 1000 ml when we simply calculate it 200 into 1000 divided by 1000 that is 200 milligram so the answer is 200 milligram and other example is how many grams again please uh, give a special concentration on unit 
in which unit you have to answer in the exam. How many grams of carboxy carboxymethyl cellulose are present in 10 ml if a solution contained 1 gram per liter? Now here is liter, here is ml. 1 liter is equals to 1000 ml. So when we solve this problem, x gram in 10 ml is equals to 1 gram in 1000 ml. When we calculate is 10 into 1 divided by 1000 that is 0 0.01 grams. And other topic in this video is ratio strength and the question could come like express 0.02% as ratio strength. Options are 1.1 1 .1 is 200. Uh, B1 is 2000, C1 is to 200, D1 is to 5000. Solution how I solve it, I put 0 0.02 over 100. 100 is because here is percent. Okay, then the number of 0 I remove it and then move it to the lower value. Simple 2 is to 10,000 okay when we uh, divide it to find the value the ratio of one value so 1 over 5,000 so the answer is D that's how I solve it and other example is express 0.05 percent as ratio strength options are uh, 1 is 200, B 1 is 2000, C 1 is to 200, D 1 is to 2000. When we solve it, so 0 0.05 over 100, remove these 0 from above to and move it to the down, 5 over 10,000. When we divide it, it simply came 1 over 2000. So that's how the ratio strength, strength came. <coughs> And other topic is percentage strength it will be like the value will be in per uh, ratio strength and you will calculate in percentage strength so express 5 is 200 as percentage strength options are a 5% B 0.5% C 0.05% D 0.005% when we solve it what we do is 1 is 200 means 1 over 100 and because it is percentage so multiply it with the 100 we will get the answer 5% similarly 1 is 2000 as percentage strength options are a 5% b 0.5% C 0.05% and D is 0.005%. When we solve it, 1 uh, sorry 5 is 2000 means 5 over 1000 multiplied by 100. When we solve it, 0.5% will be the answer. And other example is express 3 is to 7000 as percentage strength. Options are 4%. 0.4%, 0.004%, or 0.0004%. Solutions are 3 is to 7000 means 3 divided by 7000 multiplied by 100. When you calculate it, 0.04% will be the answer. Please use on screen calculators because according to PEBC website, you will get an on-screen calculator in exam you will not get physical calculator in exam so don't use cell phones or any other calculators try to solve these questions on laptop and with on-screen calculators last topic of this video is ratio mix Ratio mix is simply the calculate the amount of each ingredient needed to make final mixture. 
so the questions are look like substance a plus substance b they have ratio 1 is to 1 required to make 20 ml of lotion so how i solve it i simply add up the ratio 1 is to 1 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 now the final uh, volume will be divided with the amount so 20 divided by 2 that is 10 this is the one uh, ratio of uh, single ratio of one ingredient so when 1 is to 1 ratio is here so the ingredient will be 10 is to 10 ml okay next question is substance a plus substance b plus substance c so they can make more complicated in a similar way but when you know the solution you can easily solve it ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 2 required to make 30 grams of cream so 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4 divide 30 milligram 30 grams to 4 one uh, as the val the ratio of single value is 7.5 so the answer will be 7.5 is to 7.5 and then 15 how 15 because the ratio is 2 to simply 7.5 multiply by 2 or add 7.5 twice and other example is substance a plus substance b is 3 is to 1 required to make 60 grams so 3 is to make, uh, sorry, 3 is to 1 is 4. Now 60 divided by 4, the answer is 15. So 3 part of 15 is 45 is to 1. So answer is 45 is to 15. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. And bye for now.